Angela Peterson, we are now friends. Uh, one quick thing I want to mention before uh, uh, the day's end is I put a video up uh, on how I changed my diet. And uh, I think I just want to, I, I, didn't, I don't think I explained it too much in the video. I just posted, um, I just, I just posted the, uh, uh, how I changed my diet and, uh, and, uh, the food evaluations for, uh, uh, the egg McMuffins and that. So I'll briefly touch on, on why I made that switch to the diet and stuff like that. Because I think I just wrote it down. I didn't actually explain anything. I don't fucking remember. Like I said, I have like zero oxygen in my brain, so I'll go over it anyways, and I'll, if I repeat myself, I'll just delete one of the videos. So like I said, I've been doing hardcore now for a couple of weeks, and my body is telling me that uh, I need something besides uh, egg whites and oatmeal. So now, this is somewhere you guys have to be really honest with yourself. Like only you can know the answer to this. Like I can write a fucking diet for you and everything, but... I'm never going to know what's inside your head, and I'm never know what's going to go what's, what's going on inside your body. Only you know that. So I had to tell myself uh, the truth and be honest about what uh, my body actually needed and craving craved, and what I wanted just out of fucking habit and out of just giving up. You know, there's a difference between the two. Like, I know I'm a dieting machine. I have the willpower to diet. So. I don't eat a lot of sweets and, uh, you know, a lot of crap and chips and chocolate and, you know, but what I like to do is when I do eat, I like to eat a lot and I like to snack when I'm watching movies. I don't snack on potato chips and stuff. I snack on, like, fucking meals. Like, you know, if I make a, uh, you know, a fucking four-pound casserole, you know, I'll, I'll have a pound for my meal and then I'll have a pound for a snack and fuck, you know, so on and so forth. So, Leon adjustment, right, I really had to make to my diets was just cutting back on the amount of food that I ate. <laughs> you know, uh, but I recommend when you're dieting, coffee is great because it's an appetite suppressant, which is really good, uh, and it helps you make you shit, so during that first week, you're going to really fucking see that coffee kick in and make you shit on the toilet, so anyways, let me break down what I, what I did with this, so I had to devise a way to satisfy my body's cravings, and at the same time, I have to, you have to figure out, you want to stay within your daily calo uh, your calorie limit, so... For me, it's around, for my body weight, it's about uh, 2,100 calories. And for the last two weeks, I've been doing anywhere from 1,850 to 200, uh, 2,100. So I just said, okay, I got to start feeding my body some uh, other food rather than uh, the egg whites and shakes and stuff. So I came up with this idea. So McDonald's has uh, sausage and muffins without the egg, okay? And they're cheap, so it's affordable. Like, that's the other thing about this program, too. You can do this motherfucker on a budget, you know? And that's what I'm also trying to convey to you guys is you can work at home, you can eat properly, diet properly, you know, and, and you can afford it. So, anyways, back to what I was doing. Back to my, uh, the, ah, the McDonald's sandwiches. So, I got two sausage muffins with cheese, no egg. So, that ran me about $3.50. So, each one of those contains 390 calories thereabouts so we got two of them so that brings us to 780 calories so with my egg whites that I normally put in my shake I put on the on the thing that's an extra 100 calories so I'm looking at 880 calories for that one meal and normally I have 320 or 380 so it's almost double so you're like holy fuck now you're you know what not be able to eat all the way through the day because you just burned off two meals with one calorie right wrong so this is what we do I'm allowed up to 2,100 calories, but I was taking in 1,850. So I got, I got 300 calories for room to maneuver there. So what I did is I adjust my meals that day. So if I'm, if I'm normally hitting six or seven meals and I'm staying within that 2,100 calories, well, guess what? Now I just go down to six. So I do my 880 calories for my sausage muffin with egg, and I do my five meals at 320. So it brings me to, I think, 2,140. So I'm over... By 40, <clears throat> I'm over by 40 calories, which is fucking nothing, okay? Now, the kicker to this, which is the really good news, even if I was over, but let's say, 300 to 400 calories, it's not a big deal because 
when did I eat those sausage muffins with cheese and fatty pork sausages on there? I did it on my first workout, my first post-workout of the day, which is probably about 6.30 this morning. So guess what? Our anabolic cycle runs on a 24-hour cycle, right? So I'm pretty sure I'm going to burn off those extra calories within 24 hours. You guys see what I'm saying? So it's better if you just don't fucking... If you have to cheat and you got to have... You're craving that fat or salt, whatever it is you're doing, just make sure it's first thing in the morning. And then hopefully get the willpower to uh, get you through the day. So that's the uh, Egg McMuffin sausage shit. And uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So have yourselves a good night. <laughs> Kelly, no you won't. No you won't. I'm not sure what he means by that. Eat more. No, I'll save the eat more for the cycle, brother. I'll blow up to 300, 350. That's when you eat more. That's when you start eating like 8 to 10 meals a day. You start taking in, you know, 500, 6,000 5, 6, calories. You lift heavy, you go to failure, you know, all that shit. But that's not what this workout's about, Kelly. So, have a good night, Knights. Take care. Oh, yeah, meek these will get you in shape. <laughs> Obviously, Kelly missed the first part of our, uh, our speech there. So, anyways, he can always look back, and then he'll go, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good night.